and then make a plan. We can do it. To me, it's made perfect sense to push the walk-in closet project to make sure that my bedroom, living room and kitchen was livable. But living here, have had to find clothes. It's just become a disaster room and really overwhelming. So it's not easy to get started. I think I'm gonna need something, some angry rock, something upbeat. And then I'm gonna start out by emptying the room. I'm gonna put everything into my bedroom so that I can take in one bag at the time and make a plan for all of the rails and everything. So you can do it. Music. This was also my choice of music after days and days of painting white walls. Sometimes you just, you need something upbeat and angry. <laughs> Thank you. 
that was all I managed to do today. A storm is passing through Denmark, so I'm the chauffeur for my mom and sister when they get off work. And by the time that I'm done, the sun will be down and I still have no lamps in here. I've come a long way, guys. I managed to take quite a bit from the bedroom. I've hung up all of my dresses on this rail for now. I will have another rail here. <sighs> Some bits and bobs definitely needs a good wash and to be ironed. But it's great. I put stuff in my cabinet. Yeah, it feels good. Welcome to day two of my walk-in closet organization, chaotic, whatever we're gonna call it, project. I still have some waking up to do. Definitely don't feel awake after a massive iced coffee. But I just wanted to share with you a package that I received in the mail the other day that is so cute. It's from a subscriber on the other side of the world. First of all, it came with the nicest letter that I'm gonna keep. I have a map for letters and memories from like my online time that's gonna go in there. And in the package, Ashley, I'm gonna say Ashley, I think she's gonna be okay. She has sent me the most beautiful vintage dress. She reached out to me on Instagram or email, can remember, asked me if she could send me a vintage dress um, and I was like sure and then you never really know what to expect and this one turned up and it's just so beautiful. Da -da 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 -da. Look at her and it's a maxi dress. I love all of the lace details, it's so cute. And then she sent me some Tim Tam chocolate bites, I think. Oh, they look delicious. Mmm, super crispy. Mm, I think it's slightly like a Kit Kat. Just more chocolate flavored. Oh, I love the crispiness. That's really delicious. So, 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 so sweet. Can't wait to try on the dress. And now, let's get to work. Beautiful. popped out of the long white sweater because my house is pretty warm like really warm actually so it's just way too hot to wear that sweater oh my night pajamas I love this one it's so cute I thrifted that years ago but I also have some really stunning nightgowns I am gonna do a lot of washing and I think this bag is something that I haven't touch much so this has pretty much been packed down since October which makes me think that maybe this should be my first batch that I'm gonna wash all of my nightgowns um yeah I might do that this one is pretty as well uh, nightgown nightgown I have a lot of nightgowns 
summer shorts. I have one pair of shorts. I'm not a short girl. setting off my new walk-in closet done. I must admit I did face some struggles. The clothing racks that I have had specially custom made for my old walk-in closet obviously does not fit in here perfectly so I might not keep it exactly this way. Changes are gonna happen for sure. Another thing is that I want this room to be visually impressive to walk into, like really creative and stimulating. So we're not done yet. This was only the first step. So I sat down the day I was working in here. I looked at wall tapestries and I was searching and searching. I had so many tabs open on my computer and I found something, ordered it home and now can't wait to see what it looks like. If you have any guesses for a color scheme, pop them down below right now. No cheating. Mm. That's lovely. It's definitely not as yellow as I was afraid of. That's such a pretty sand browny shade. I'm not at all disappointed. I was quite afraid there was going to be much more yellow. This is decent. It would make it super calm and then I could add some complementing tones. Mhm. Mm Definitely promising. I like that. So the first step that was organizing is now complete and I've even found a wall tapestry that I think is going to look so cute in here and my head is exploding with ideas and complementing colors. It's going to be so much fun to do the next step that will actually be personalized, say, pers per making this space super personal. So make sure to subscribe if you want to follow the progress. And also leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you all very soon. Bye guys.